Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome to Dilettante Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilettante Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. Uh, one thing that I did realize What's is that? that if we're going by God's calendar, uh-huh. technically, our Christmas episode that came out <laughs> yeah. would also have been our last episode of the year. Right. That's true because we release on Tuesdays. And we forgot to say the thing where we say smell you next year at the end. And to rectify that... <laughs> New Year's will come early. Christmas will come late. I'm going to release this episode at 11:59. <laughs> so on Monday. So technically, so uh, you have to listen to it at uh, 800 speed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, while you're listening to this, just know that we we did release on Monday. Yes, and so we did get in under the wire legally. Right, exactly. Um, what was that thing maybe a year or two ago where it was like if you start this specific movie or show at this time? Yeah. Then when it then when the midnight, Death Star explodes, it'll be exactly. Was it midnight. the Death Star? People were doing it with a lot of movies. There was one in particular where it was like. This is good. No, I don't know. Mm. But yeah, just like any, you know, it, was, it got to the point where I was like, okay, like I'm so over this, dude. I want to say it, there, was, there was one that got me. He was like, if you start Despacito right at midnight, <laughs> um, he says Despacito right at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Johnny, you know what's not funny? <laughs> I don't know. That was a bad transition. I was hoping I would find a way out of it. What, you know what's not funny is this transition. Uh, we've got a we've got a, a few f- uh, very lovely people that left some some five star iTunes reviews. Oh, and we're honor bound to read them. I'm gonna read one today and one maybe another time. Okay, I don't know why you brought the second one up. Yeah, well, because this the one this one I've we missed we missed this one. It's from November. Oh wow! And then in between the time of getting that one and the second one, we got a new one. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? We got a second one. Okay. And so I didn't want. That second person to I think, see, I see, I uh, see. today's the day, <laughs> today's the day to read mine. I see. So I want them to know, whoever, whoever that person is. We're coming for we you. We got you, baby. We're coming for you. We, we are coming for you. Look out. <laughs> this one is by Meepster. 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 And, they, and they say, a great dose of fun. A great what? A great dose of fun. Yes. Meep. But please do not exceed the recommended dosage. Yeah, exactly. Um, I found, this is what they say. I found this podcast through wanting to hear more of Johnny from Campaign. And how could you not? It has quickly become one of my favorites. It's you know, it's nice that you bring new people to the table, but I wish I had another podcast that people <laughs> could say, you know, I just couldn't get enough of that old Spencer boy. Well, you do. Yeah, I you're couldn't on, get enough of his pod swaggle. You're on Pam Swangle. His, <laughs> I'm on yeah, Parmesan swaggle. The only reason I haven't binged all the episodes yet is because I usually listen to podcasts while doing other things, and I can't have people. Staring at me because I was cracking up laughing while eating lunch in public. I disagree. Can you imagine, like, there's already a stigma of eating, like, by yourself. Uh, You're eating by yourself. And, like, cackling. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, spaghetti. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Johnny and Spencer are hilarious guys who take conversations on wiki tangents that will teach you a lot of things. Oh, please. Which I disagree with. Please do not. Well, they they correct that. They say most of which are wholly unrelated to the article title. Mm. Uh and untrue. And untrue. And yeah, just factually inaccurate. The show is hard to describe, but the episodes are nicely bite sized. So if you're interested, just go ahead and give it a try. Uh, the only downside, the only downside, is that it feels so much like having a fun chat with your buds that sometimes if the guys are wondering out loud about something you know, you'll just be mentally yelling at your headphones. I wish you could tell them. You, you know, actually, the reason King Tut is the pharaoh everyone knows about is because the tomb was the first one ever discovered that hadn't been broken into and sacked by grave robbers already. So it was full of artifacts uh, in pristine condition and became famous. Just for example, I did not know that, and that's <laughs> wild. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. There's 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 one, there's one for the history books. I started. I I, I can empathize because I started, and I won't. I'm not going to give anyone any plugs. But a, a mutual friend of ours uh, has a podcast where he uh, tackles call- brain teasers, and uh, <laughs> let's call him J. Patrick Cohn. No, that's that's, that's too, too obvious. Plus. John Patrick C. <laughs> And like Christ, when I figure one out before them, I oh yeah, there is. First of all, there's no one that I can tell where I'm like, fuck, I got it. Fuck you, I got it first. <laughs> the bus driver, <laughs> <laughs> sir, stay behind the glass. <laughs> um, and 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 just the absolute agony of hearing people or or okay. just try to roll around in their head like, what is it? Have you ever played the game Mad Gab? Uh, I'm familiar with it. It's like here's a nonsense phrase. One person knows what you're saying, and you, and 
but you don't, and you're just saying like nonsense words. But if you like slur the words together, it makes a real phrase. But like when you know the phrase and you're listening to the other person figure it out, they're saying it. They're, they're saying, saying it over and over again. Right, like a right. bird in the hand, a bird in the hand. And it's like, you. how do you not know that what you're saying? You're saying it. I can hear you <laughs> saying this phrase. Right. But the card would say like a verb in dand. It's yeah. Something like that. It's a terrible example. Um. Yeah, and and it, it just it just um, a burden Dan, a burden Dan. They are <laughs> yeah, better burden, than that, but but that's yeah, a burden Dan would be like the card. Yeah, and like a burden Dan, a, a bird a burden Dan, <laughs> a burden Dan, <laughs> and you just you just you're they like, you're, sound you're saying it you're they saying sound it. L- just like an absolute lunatic. Right, right, and <laughs> and that's what we do to every listener. Guys. <laughs> yes. But but there's no there's no um sort of fun catharsis at the end when you're like a bird in the hand. Yeah, <laughs> right. Our We've podcast just we, yeah our podcast just ends and we move on <laughs> and we never address it and you feel like a maniac for the rest of your life. Um, very rarely we've had corrections. Yeah, very rarely. Yeah, yeah. Because we're very rarely wrong. <laughs> um, speaking of which, uh-huh. let's pull up a little article. What do you say? Yeah, let's pull up a little article. Oh, okay. 2016 Milan San Remo. Remo? The 107th edition of the Milan San Remo Cycling Classic took place on Saturday, 19 March, 2016. Where's Milan, France? Uh, Italy. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, It was the fourth of 28 races of the 2016 UCI World Tour. The first one-day race. It was also the first cycling monument of the season. A lot of specific words for cycling. Yeah, and I I ride a bike, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but this is a lot. I never really got into like Jessica's dad. Yeah, is super into the Tour de France. Really, and like every year he like he like fucking watches it. He what is like that? I don't know. He's is like it? he's into the Tour de France tennis, women's tennis specifically, mm-hmm. and uh, the the Boston Celtics, and like that's it. Do you think like? He's part, very old. That's what I was going to say. It's a product of him just being old and just gathering these things in his life. Yeah, you I don't know, know what I mean. Like just over over time, something something tickled his fancy, and then 45 years later, he's really into those three things. Yeah, I know? guess. I mean, that'll whatever that will be for us, it'll be like, yeah. oh, uh, well. Well, <sighs> it's kind of, this is kind of, I mean, like I got really into Japanese professional wrestling. Sure. That's a pretty, like in the scheme of things in America, that's a pretty niche thing to be into. Uh, and for those of you playing along at home, Spencer is wearing a Japanese oh, wrestling <laughs> shirt. Um, yeah, the main the main card from last year's Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah. Which, um, as people are hearing this, this year's Wrestle Kingdom happens in three days. So I'm very, very well, excited. four days. For four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's stick to the, the 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 narrative we've created. It's true. They I can, guess it is true. They can go look, and yeah. it will say 11.59, January 31st. Nope. December 31st. <laughs> We're releasing this a month late. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, I don't know. What is, like, the 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 sort of most um, esoteric thing I'm into? Um, I mean... This... It's not Star Wars. I'm very into Star Wars, but that's, that's like, right, huge. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's one of those things where, like, over, over the period of... Let's say let's say her dad's seventy five. You know, over the period of, is he older? You think? I think he's older. He's okay. like old as fuck. So let's just round to the eighty. And I think he's like four hundred. <laughs> no, no, I want, He's he's probably seventy five. So in the in the course of, of a seventy five year lifespan, accumulating a few weird pillows. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just gonna happen, right? Yeah. Like just like weird like quirks in your, you know. And they're not even they're not even like that weird, but it's just no. like. Why? Why? That's that's what it is. Is the why, mm-hmm. right? Like, what what is that? Like, at some point, like he saw something and was like, you know what? Yeah, you know, fuck men's tennis. Yeah, you, you know. Or there was some like I just learned this the other day. Like, apparently during like the '60s, like the hottest and best wrestling in the world was a women's wrestling promotion in Japan. Uh, it was maybe called Joshi. Maybe Glow. It was, it was called Glow. A- a- anyway, the, the point is, so like maybe there was just something like in 1972, yeah. like the like the Michael Jordan of you know. Like Michael Jordan is obviously the Michael Jordan of baseball of, uh, of baseball of minor league baseball, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like he he's the sportsman. 
Yes. You know? Yeah. Like, he was the guy. So then maybe maybe there was some women's tennis right. player who was like... Like a Venus Williams type, sure. you know, back in 1972, that everyone was like, this is this is the, you know... Isn't Serena Williams the... the... Oh, I just threw one of the names out. I don't... I don't, I don't is, follow women's tennis. That's but the thing. Like I know that when I was in fourth grade, it was both of them. It, it was, was both like, of them. Wild. Yeah. And I haven't checked in on tennis <laughs> sure. since fourth grade. You know, <laughs> since they were on the cover of whatever Scholastic News. Dude, I remember in fifth grade reading one. And it was like kids pick the president, <laughs> which was like the the fucking two thousand election. And Who did they pick? Like, did they pick Clinton? Uh, Isn't the thing where like, they've always like they've the, like always gotten right? I think they picked Bush. That's weird. How they? Oh, okay. So they got it right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember um, choosing. They picked Obama, which was crazy <laughs> because he wasn't even running. <laughs> I remember being into Dole. I want to say, of course, around that time, solely because he liked the same kind of ice cream I liked. That's not a bad reason. It's the only criteria I was aware mm-hmm. of, of to go off of. I can remember. You was know, like that, that might have been ninety six, maybe with Dole was running. I don't know. Based on the information that Scholastic provided me, I was like, <laughs> "This McCain guy is all right." In two thousand. <laughs> What did we just watch the other day that had like, it was something, it wasn't this, but it was something like Pee Wee's like big holiday sh- and adventure. And Bob Dole was in it. And Bob Dole was just on the, what the fuck It might have been it? some commercial that we were watching. It was a commercial. And just Bob Dole was like shilling for, yeah, like. Come see the softer side of Sears. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like that. <laughs> like, wait a minute. It's a fucking Bob Dole. <laughs> yeah. Pretty weird, man. Yeah, that is uh, one of my favorite things about Christmas is watching old commercials. I yeah, realize that's that a yearly ho- tradition you and I have with our friends here. Uh, I f- I missed a few heavy hitters that on the walk home, Rich and I discussed that. We're like, it's surprising this didn't come. Out. I was so mad because we were trying to bring because you know there's there are a few standbys that we always go to Crossfire, right. obviously. Right, right, right. The Sears um, air conditioning. Commercial. Yeah, and we were trying to bring some new blood in, and we did. We got some new blood. We in got there. some great new blood in there. Yeah. And then I was like, this is some more new blood that we. F- Forgot and would have been great. Oh wow, you came up with new ideas. Yes. Okay, because we were thinking of old standards that we had missed. Which ones were you? Things like creepy crawlers, things like that. You know. Yeah. And we're just like, man, like we got some new stuff in there, but we it was just like we got some look forward to next year, man. We got some the two big ones. What do you want me to tell you? Yes, because I'll we'll both forget. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Um, mattress giant. I mattress giant. When you want that, ooh, I feel. Interesting. Come to mattress giant. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. And then and then at the end it goes only at mattress giant ooh ah <laughs> and then the other one which is also very horny you know it I know it we, we both love it. love it herbal essences herbal essences oh 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 where, shit where everyone's just so fucking horned up in the shower yes yes and like hot buff dudes are washing women's hair <laughs> yeah they're like ha- literally having like orgasms in the supermarket aisle <laughs> yeah and then like a woman passes by and knocks her out of her reverie and she'll say like I'll, I'll have, have what she's, she's having. having. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I, I'm doubt that they would say that, but that's the that's the idea. Yeah. There was a, a Garnier Fructis commercial. I'm just remembering right now that that would fucking play. Ooh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And it had this this. It was like like woohoo. The transplants, diamonds that's, and guns by the trans. I found out it was the transplants like when I was like 25, and I was like, you motherfucking sellouts. <laughs> You did a Garnier Fructis commercial, but then again, like, who knows who the transplants are? Like, you know. I mean, that's their only song. That's it's their only song is because of Garnier Fructis. I, that, song, like that song fucks, too. It's it's really good. Yeah, it's really, I really wish, good. I hate hearing, like, one song by a band and being like, this band fucks. Oh. And then hearing the rest of their album, and it's like. They don't fuck, actually. Yes. Yeah. It's, there is like, it. There is no worse feeling yes. than, like. Like uh, this is going to be my new favorite band, and then it's like that sucks. Yeah, it's not actually not to this degree. But Bruno Mars did that to me when he came out with sure. what was that the mm. the big awesome song he has in the past like five years. Um, yeah, make a dragon want to retire, man. Too hot, hot. What is that song called? Downtown New York, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, inside, fuck you up. Uptown Funk. That's it. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Inside, fuck you up. That's the words. Um, yeah, yeah. There was the, the rest of his catalog is not like that. There's that other one where it's like, but he's, he's your good still. But finger to the moon, solid gold, something. That's a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But it, and it's sort of in the same vein. Well, he, I think he did think, an album with Mark Ronson or something. Sure. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, his music is good. Yes. You know, but it's not. It's it, not like it's oh, not all just throwback like Uptown Funk style. You know. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, <laughs> Led Zeppelin has a few commercials, uh, uh, um, 
Car- buy Led Zeppelin's album, <laughs> Houses of the Holy. Car, uh, car commercials that'll have like Led Zeppelin commercials. Like somehow they're the perfect band for car commercials because there's like yeah. three I can think of. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh well, I mean, like, yeah, you just want to drive fucking fast. When yeah, you hear, like, exactly. Like like rock and roll and Black Dog. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, exactly. I remember there was like a Verizon commercial or a singular wireless commercial or something that had um, All Together Now by the Beatles. Whoa, which is such a like weird choice anyway well maybe that's maybe it was cheaper <laughs> oh like, yeah you know they didn't care for like, this we one. wanted to get come together but it would have cost us 40 million dollars yeah you know um, yeah, michael jackson did not play does he still does his estate still own the rights to the i don't know those fellas i'm not sure that also feels like one of those urban legends i think it's real i, I think it is too but those are the perfect ones right yeah. where it's like you know michael what we speaking of michael jackson uh-huh did I say Michael Jordan before? I know you mentioned him, but did I say? Yeah, I don't know. Michael Jordan does I don't not know. play? Michael Jackson's the Michael Jordan of music. Oh, yeah. Um, he, so Jessica and I went to the Catcade yesterday. The Catcade? Have you heard of this? It sounds like a Japanese place. No. This is in Chicago? Yes. No, we took a, we took a quick hop. Well, I know you were there in recently. Um, it, It's like a cat cafe, basically, here in Chicago, but because you I assume can't like serve food in the United States with like a bunch of fucking cats around. Yeah, sure. Um, it's just like an arcade. They have like some free to play games, like old school games, like but, cabinets, like yeah. But they had Moonwalker, the Michael Jackson I, game. Ooh, can you like throw your hat to do damage or something? Mm-hmm. Okay, I've never played it. it. It's so it's hard because it's the same style game as like TMNT and Simpsons and stuff. Totally, side score beat them up. But the few levels that I played, um. So there's like the joystick, yeah, and mm-hmm. you can move up, down, left, and right. Totally. But all of the um, walking paths uh-huh. are diagonal. Okay. So like you can't turn diagonal to face an enemy. Oh, so like gross. you have to you have to like w- move below them or next to them. You know what I mean? Like there's it's just slightly off. Like you never get it. It was extremely difficult to control. Because you, you, the walking path never lined up with Ugh, I hate the, that. the motion controls that you had. It was it, so strange. Maybe that's why the game never caught mm-hmm. on because it was like – This sucks. Know, I'd yeah. rather just yeah play a, a perfectly straight like – Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was a great place. It was a lot of fun to just hang out with cats. And just a shitload of cats there? Yeah. It was, it was awesome. How many cats would you say there were? Like 50? How, if like 15. But in a – in a smallish room, like the, a room the size of our living room maybe. Sure. And there's just – yeah, that's a lot of cats when you get into the thick of it, huh? Yeah. But most of them were just like chilling out, sleeping. There was they had right. those um, that kind of like table arcade setup where there's one seat on one side, one seat on the other, so you could play like a two player game against each other. Okay. There was a cat that was just chilling on top of that because it was warm. <laughs> um, like one of the Pac Man type games. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was great. I didn't know we had something like that. Yeah, it's been there for like two years too. Wow. It's it's uh, off of Belmont, like right by. It's like a block west of seven seven three. Okay. Quite, okay. So it's like yeah, like in the mix. Yeah. Interesting. Um. How many other places like that are in Chicago that I just don't know about? And that's like uh, tip of the iceberg. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I, how I, many weird places are there in Chicago I don't know about? Yeah. We went, the only other time that I've been to a cat cafe was in Canada and they did give you like food and drinks. It's weird that in Canada, the cats come in bags. <laughs> <laughs> Smell you later. Smell you next year. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're over 50 reviews now. We have 52 five star reviews. Nice. Oh. That's one for every week. That's true. That's true. They're one for every card and a deck of cards. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's on purpose? That there are like fifty-two hmm. cards in fifty-two weeks. I don't can't, know. Can't be. I don't know. It's just such an odd number. Well, it's an even number, but it's a peculiar number. It's a, it's an yeah, it's an interesting number to have repeat like that. Like in two different. You know. Why not fifty cards? You know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, there are four suits. What's fifty-two divided by four? Thirteen. Spooky. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know that the, that particular the deck of cards we have is a French deck. Like, like there no are no other... <laughs> <laughs> Um I don't know how to say that in French. <laughs> that's very funny. I don't even know what you said, but I know it was Spanish. I said you don't say. Oh, uh, okay, okay. A- anyway, the reason I even know that is because my Italian friend introduced me to Italian playing cards. They're different. They're different. There's only forty of them. Yeah. They don't have face cards or they don't have seven through 10 or something like that. Weird. Yeah. Cause they do have their face cards, but yeah. why so is that? Yeah. That's so strange. Four suits, 10 each. That's cleaner, but cleaner less yeah. spooky. Yeah. Is there, 
do they still play the same games? Like, do you no. still play like poker and? Well, I don't know. He, he taught me like three specifically Italian games: linguini, uh huh, fettuccine, zucchini. <laughs> Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.